All right. We are live and back. Apologies for the absence last Tuesday. We were tied up with other matters. But we are back to continue our fight against the Crustacean Menace in Phoenix Point. Here at Sound Goblin Gaming. Mm -hmm. I am, as always, your host, the Krampus. And I'm Shiv. All right. And uh, last time, we fought the Great Inburnening down here in South Africa. So uh, we fought a uh, warlord on behalf of the Synedrian. Uh, some kind of crazy man who had been a rich billionaire and went nuts. And had a lot of flame grenades. So many grenades. So many grenades in general. So many grenades. Uh, we unfortunately lost a dear member of our team. Bahab Baharkar was unfortunately lost. And uh, thus, we have named the site Bahab's Burgers in his honor. Uh, we, also sunk, do. we also sunk a, a massive amount of tech into getting it repaired. Um, also, last time, we met the disciples of Anu's leader. Uh, we met the, uh, the illustrious queen of the disciples of Anu, slash their goddess. The Exalted. Uh, and she thanked us for, you know, not going and torching a innocent, uh, haven, like the weird three-headed crab man wanted, and we instead did the non-violent version. Keep in mind this is largely ancillary, and either one you do leads you to meeting the Exalted, so we yeah, chose we the other do one. The other one, they just go like, hey, that was a... Uh... That was kind of a dick move you did, but you did do what we asked you to do. Here's the yeah. Exalted. Um, it makes... It makes certain other parts of other factions not as angry with you and angers other parts. It's basically, who do you want to piss off when you make that choice? So we chose the one that pisses off, like, Tobias West and one part of the Synedrian Council we don't give a fuck about. Um, so now we need to raise our alliance up to 100% with the Disciples of Anu in order to unlock the ending... But we also have to unlock uh, uh, Psychic Autopsies. Like, in order to get the next mission, we have to get to 100%. But that mission then requires you to have certain other techs unlocked. And to complete certain other research. One of which I'm almost certain is the Psychic Influences down here. We still got a ways to go before that, so. Yep. Can do a little bit of ranging. Oh, ultimate mutation technology. We are very close to ultimate mutation technology. More mutation. More mutations. Uh, so this is going to take three days just to build a med center. So Thunderbird Five is going to come back up to our original base. There, you got there. Now, the quickest way to get faction reputation up is just going to be to do the target Synedrian Haven. Yeah, well, whatever mission they want to give us. Yeah. And the, the other way, really, to get it at this point in the game is uh, faction defense or haven defense. Yes. But that's dependent on their haven's getting attacked and thus having people nearby to actually defend them. Yeah, exactly. So we're just going to accept this. We've kind of been towing the line with the Synedrian Council, but we that's always been ancillary. That's kind of like we just stumbled across things that gave us positive faction with Synedrian. Oh, but haven defense actually gives you quite a bit. Yes. 
Haven defense, and we've done a bunch of, like, events that just gave us re uh, reputation with Synedrian. Yeah, it's just, you get a decent chunk from, from reputation stuff, provided you don't do choices that they hate. And we've explored most of the globe at this point, so that's not really an option anymore. Yeah, exactly. So that being said, we need that's to send a team... Time to get our hands dirty. Yeah, we need to send a team over and uh, break some bones. three here has a bunch of people who are good at breaking bones. And they do have a food production. Uh, it might be a specific place you have to raid if you take it. Uh, that's the thing, is it doesn't mark a specific spot. Okay, yeah, just target, yeah, target food production in general. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, keep in mind that if you're targeting food production for sabotage and not raid it's probably destroy things so we can't melee them it is a so good thought keep, keep, keep that in mind for whatever team you're sending make sure they have plenty of ammo to uh, be able to shoot things down okay well, let's go ahead and do some checking here you've like, got an actual gun yeah, sending a Berserker heavy team is fine, as long as they have ammo. Yeah, as long as they have ammo and guns and stuff. Uh, oh, you're just going to be fine at blowing up stuff. Look at Johnson, he's a blowing up machine. Tilda is fine. Tahir is fine, as always. fine. Gertrude is also fine. Wait, no, she needs a ammo pack. And one is fine. Okay. This is still a good team to go a break and stuff. Raid. Sabotage food production. And yeah, because of our mission here, we will get a substantial bonus for... Yep, we'll need like two of these and we'll be capped out of honor. Yep. That's assuming no other like Haven defense pops up. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. All right, everyone, we don't want them to think Phoenix Point was involved in this, so I need you all to make crab noises. Click, click. Uh, good enough. You'll never suspect a thing. Okay. Ah, oh, the building that makes no sense. Got it. Okay, so we need to destroy key structures. They're all on the roofs here. And I don't think we can shoot through those glass things. Can we shoot through the glass things? Not sure. X-Factor. Well, anyway, first thing before anything else, begin to scream. Right. Where's our targets? Uh, oh, they're all... So they're up there, except for two of them that are over here. Over there. 
Uh, and I do not know if this I do not know if this glass can be shot through. Uh I think that glass thing in its entirety is actually the target. Oh no, you can get inside uh, of it. No, mind. it's it's so, just the just the pillar in the middle. Just the pillars. Mm. Ah. Probably? I mean, they look like windows like the other ones, but yeah. Although you can't jump through them anywhere, it looks like, so... Unknown. Unknown, yeah. And we have no idea where any actual enemies are. Uh, our escape point, on the other hand, is over here. In the corner. Ready to roll. I'm tempted to try an experiment. I just put, oh. I put Matilda here and take a shot at the thing through the the glass. See if we can break the glass open. All right, you can try. What's the word that happens? It alerts, uh, alerts our presence to everyone on the map. Yeah. Oh. Yes, that glass is absolutely breakable. Turns out the glass is, in fact, glass. Actually. Broke your flowers. Yeah, I guess there is the option of just hanging out in the uh, start and destroying, oh. like, all but two of them. All but three. All but three. I don't think they'll be able to see these two over there. Yeah, but Tybalt could just run up here. Or start running up here. And then come up to the top of the ladder, pepper these until they die, and then make his way down. This is a thing that Tybalt could do. So, you got anywhere you want people to go? This is basically mostly your units. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's like four miles. Yep. Um, which ones do we have sight on from here? Uh, that one. Uh, that one. That one. That one. That one. All, all the ones on that side, basically. That's all of them. That's going to be tough. Oh. All right, uh, at least uh, Johnson can see all of them. So let's go ahead and set down a turret and start shooting. Setting down a turret. You just want to give it a shot, or you want to use the, the PDW? Or the... Yeah, use the PDW. Alright, so the first shot we have to take just with a, uh, a blind shot yep. like this. Uh, how much health that one have left? Uh, it won't show oh, me no. an exact number. I have uh, no way. Sniper rifle shot. shots probably overkill on it though, so have to hear shoot a different one. Okay. Line 
Lining up a shot. Yeah, that works. I uh, should have minus AP. Well, I wasn't thinking about it. Uh, next. Uh, next we have... Uh, I'll get him into cover as well. Yeah. The inevitable group of people that sneak up on us. Uh, this is a Nedrian base. There's like a 99% chance that we're surrounded by uh, infiltrators. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move Wilhelm into cover. And then we're going to use his shot to crack open this one. Uh, Lena, or Lena Gertrude. Uh, Left Lena's fine. Have Lena hop behind a wall. She can hop behind a wall and then take shots of. Yep. Right. That'll do. That's two down. Yep, and then Gertrude can move up, I guess, a bit. Up against one of those other, uh, like, the the wall that's out a bit further. Uh, to the right. Yep. This one over here? That's left. Yeah. There you go. And then take a shot at that other one on the top of our... Oh! Sneaky! Did mine shoot that guy? Actually, uh, how much AP is left? Uh, get behind that bench. Is that your good cover? This bench? Yep. Okay. Yep. And then shoot that guy. Done it now. You gotten into sorting range. Oh. Yeah, I mean he is in sorting range, but uh, you may get your ass left out to dry if you run out to get him. Yes. Uh, let's not do that then. Yeah, you never melee last action. It's a bad idea. All right, this was a good hopping exercise. Meleeing last you. action is a good way to leave somehow to uh, just get murdered. Yep. We could be on cover and shoot him though. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's everyone. Poison and paralyze you? Eh, a little bit of paralysis. You can't see anything. 
Tilda. Okay, we can see somewhat. Gertrude's got a good chance of just taking out that Sinedrian. Just shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Put shots on sniper. I can move here, take a shot there, but we need someone else to finish him off. The here should be able to finish him off. Okay. Yeah, he'll have to use a uh, uh, quick aim to do it. He has to use 2 AP to get into position, but he can. I mean, he had sight from that one spot right there, just walking out. No. Uh, that is to one of the apiary things. It's not to Ah, him. okay. I was confused by that, too. That's why I was, like, wiggling around, like, oh, wait, so see? He's there. No, that's the flower pot that's up here. Actually, can Lena get up there? Get up on the roof in 2 AP? She's too slow. She is no. too slow. Oh, wait, no. She's Assault. Dash. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, go there. Yep. And then, yeah, she can get into cover right here. Yep, get right there. Use our horrible... Uh, Penetrating gun. Oh. You had me at horrible penetration. Oh. Alright, someone else can finish that guy off. Yeah. Advancing. Taking aim. better just to do it with the, uh... The assault rifle. Because then if that happens... We can try it again. On it. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, this is to here? Yeah, this is to here. Uh, do minus AP, just so I can take it out. Do two shots. to engage. Yeah, there's another one down. So you just stay put. Oh hell. Turret. You can shoot that one. Thanks. Good job, turret. Uh, does the turret have sight to any of the other ones? Probably not. Probably not. Does Johnson have sight to? Kind of. Yeah, might as well. Shooting at. Oh, there is actually. If he moves back, he could hit that one. At Lena. I may have been aiming at Lena mistakenly. Oh. Hey, it's another assault. Infiltrator. Huh? Infiltrator. So I don't think she was around over this area. Lena could walk down here. Try and see her. You're gonna have Lena move down there, do a dash. Probably on the other side of the wall. The outside. Uh, like right here? Yep. Yep. Hi! Oh, hey, look. That's why we do the dash. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> tisk, tisk. Oh, look. A free something. Looks like a neural pistol. Oh, there's a 
Is that a paralysis rifle up on the roof? That's either a paralysis rifle or a... No, it looks like a laser rifle. Still, laser rifle. Uh, we're going to go up and grab that, Tibble. You, uh, you just run up there and do what you got to do. Uh, that is, in fact, a Pythagoras laser rifle. So now we have one of the laser snipers. Which are very accurate. All set. All right. Look at this asshole over here. Matilda can go soften him up. How does that taste? Uh, uh. would kill him. And I don't think we've got any other enemies on the map apart from whatever's going to spawn next turn. Yep. So I think we are safe in doing that. So Gertrude, give in to the Berserker Instinct. Smash his face. See that? Oh. Ah, oh, you can. Let's see, how much will do you have left? Only three points. Not worth using. The thing on. Can't hit anything over there. All right. Let's show them what we can do. I'm here. Moving to coordinates. Johnson. Uh, he might as well go up. Okay. Just do like a full move. Go back on the wall. Get behind the building. Yeah. We didn't get those far back ones. Poor 
This man has chosen. <laughs> this man has chosen the form of a destroyer. Uh, d do a dash. Get as close as possible. Uh, while still staying in some kind of cover. Yeah, while still staying in some kind of cover. Like that spot up against the wall. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. You've you made a sequence of poor life decisions. Edge of the roof, but oh, wait, no, never mind. Jump your legs. Use your jumping legs. And you can come up here and finish the job. Lining up a shot. Fuck your rutabagas. Only one left, I'm assuming is the very far one up top. Yep, just that one left. Else can just move on up. Actually, it's probably still worth it to do it here. So, next turn, they get the bonus. Range. So next turn I can scream as against as many people as possible. Gertrude, let this guy drop. Yeah, Demo's back. Do not care. Yes, your high enough level to not care, so. Good on you. Um, scream again. All set. All right. Matilda, full move. To here, I'm also assuming it's just full moving. Yep. Fuck out of dodge. Once this thing is broken. Yeah, just get people by the evac point so we can leave once it's down. No one can make Phoenix Point eat its vegetables if all the vegetables are dead. <laughs> and hey, 
we got a Pythagoras. Heck yeah. We got some tech out of that, most of which is going back into restocking the unit. Oh, uh, you know. You know how these things go. Oh, uh, we only got three hours to go until ultimate mutation test. Uh, what is the last? What's the next thing uh, Ana wants us to do? Uh, one second. Once we get done by this, I will check. Uh, let's see. Resistor head, which is just poison and virus resistance. Uh, agile legs, which is plus four speed. Uh, and immune to goo. And the venom torso, which allows us to shoot poison at people. Also has 20 accuracy on it. Also does just have 20 accuracy on it. You get a Venom Torso, you'll hit. Uh, things they want to do. Uh, defend Havens against an attack in order to improve your reputation. We're at 97 with them. Uh, they're not going to recharge their, their thing for a while. It doesn't immediately spawn a new mission, I don't think. Hey, Jason. You got your robot arms made. Ingram. Jason Ingram and his robot arms. <laughs> Clara Joseph with a powerful perm. <laughs> <laughs> stats, though. Okay. We've got a lot of mutation points that we can throw around. Where are you? There we go. Hey, Grady! Grady, I think we're going to fix a problem. <laughs> we're going to fix a problem the old-fashioned way. My old-fashioned. I mean, we're going to mutate your fucking chest. Oh, it prevents the use of two-handed weapons. All right. Fair enough. Uh, yes, because one of your arms is, in fact, oh, a, just, uh, just a spike launcher. Yes. Be cannon arm. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, Grady. I suppose you have been spared for now. Uh, can you think of anyone you want a mutation on? I have plenty of powerful uh, mutations, a lot of mutagen, and I'm done making dogs. Not that I can think of? Well, who, who do we have sitting around? Uh, you mean in just in culinary school? In, in, on teams in general. Like, who do oh, we have? Okay, well, 
can go down the list here. We got Tybalt, who's already crossed the threshold. He can't be anymore yep. changed. Johnson Walter has no enhancements at all. Could have some mutations. John, what, what, what mutations do we have available? Well, if we mutate Johnson, uh, excluding the one that prevents him from using two other weapons. Boom, torso, because, yeah. I mean, torso in general, he needs his arm armor thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, we got uh, electric kicks he can do. We got agile legs to just give him four speed. Agile legs may not be bad just for four speed. Uh, armor's terrible on them, though. Yeah, but they're legs. Yeah, yeah. Typically don't take a lot of leg damage. Yeah. Uh, there's also just the Perceptor head. Perceptor head or the armored head that gives him immunity to daze. Perceptor head ain't bad because it has 10 accuracy. The only problem is Perceptor head has only like 15 armor, so you just get railed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the armor's going on. It's, it's 25. Like 10 armor drop for switching to it. Yeah. Me. Eden in his snazzy suit. Snazzy. Carlotta and Una, who have not been given team designations yet. We should probably take care of that. Una's the one with, uh... Ah. Uh, Cautious Trooper and Reckless. And Carlotta is... Trooper, quarterback, biochemist. Oh, for the biochemist, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll take Carlotta. Okay. Give her some speed legs. To rip off her human legs. And replace them with horrible mutated legs. Mutate. Give her the mutated agile legs. She'll be immune to goo. Okay. Also, wearing the uh, the Snedrian armor creates a very interesting <laughs> armor profile. Uh, the them hips. Yeah. <laughs> them negative hips. Yes. All right. So she has the runny legs. Yep. Uh, and in honor of Bahab Barker, I will give Una Jamal to Shiv's team. Long may Shiv's team reign. To uh, Hunter's team, you mean? Yeah, Hunter's team. There we go. Looks like she's wearing an armor with a pattern of lines. <laughs> Actual Phoenix Assault Armor now. Six 
and four versus yeah, zero. Oh, the Stomper Lakes give 12 accuracy. Slow. Oh, Elsa. And her football head. Could just give her a mutated head. Give her squid face. Squid face. Uh, yeah, actually, as an upgrade to the stupid football helmet, I think that works fine. And she gets poison and virus immunity. Oh, it also increases willpower by five. Does it? Uh, so fifteen, fifteen by ten, and yeah, uh, while also increasing willpower by five. Oh, the description here. Uh. Perception by 14 and accuracy by 10. Yeah, that's listed on there because those are stats on armor. Yeah, it just doesn't show up here on the uh, the stats because it's not a stat that's tracked on oh, that's the not head. That's not armor stat. Yeah. But it does give 5 will. Hmm, that is an interesting consideration. That makes it much better than I thought it was. I was looking at this, you like, eh. Yeah, I, I only noticed it because I was looking at the mutate button, and... Five will hours. Nothing to sneeze at. You get in a resistor head. Yep. You know, Iman Conyers could get, if we desired, the Venom Torso. It's more, Venom arm torso. more armor and more speed. He's not affected by the downside because he's not using anything that's a two-handed weapon. Yeah, the main downside is we can't get minus one uh, AP if, melee. Yes, if we do that, we cannot get the minus one melee. Um... That said, yeah. Also, technically, we need to choose a, a secondary class for Amon. Amon has grown up and must choose a secondary class in the world. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, if we are going to give him mutated torso. If we gave him mutated torso, he would get, uh, 20 accuracy, 10 stealth, or the same speed as the berserker armor. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to figure out, like, what secondary class would actually work well with mutated torso. Uh, make him an infiltrator. Oh, berserker infiltrator. Very nice. Because he can still use spider pistol. Yep.
Uh, let's give him the plus five willpower head as well. All right. Double mutations for you, Iman. How lucky yes. you are. I am a squid now. No. Maximum squidly powers. Taint and mutate. Very good. Oh, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our Callum Martyr. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, look, free Berserker armor for someone else. Yeah. Hey, Tyrannic, you finally get a helmet. Congratulations, Toronto Lopez. Runny, you could also have the runny legs. You could have the runny legs, or you could have the stompy legs. Nah. But the build we've got going on for her, the, the runny legs are better. Oh, that is another thing with the Agile Legs we did not consider. Speaking of things that, that? only appear in the side. Uh, anyone who has the Runny Legs can jump one story up. Ah. Useful for Runny Legs. Very useful. Useful for those who give up their hips. Yes. These hips don't lie, but they do fly. Uh, that being said, that's not a bad thing to throw onto, say, a sniper. Hey, Grady. <laughs> you ain't getting out of the chair that easy. I'm checking the other things for... Ah, Shadow Legs also allow you to approach Sentinels without being detected. Useful if you're a fighting Sentinels. Oh, and these stomper legs grant stability stance. 20% uh, ranged accuracy bonus if you're in that stance. The stability stance? Uh, I don't know. Like, we have some of stompy legs. Yeah, like, we have some of stompy legs. I've never noticed, like, a... Oh, whoopsie. Put that side back. Up here in the Pedia. Squared. I'm sorry, I can't pass her without laughing now. <laughs> yeah, going up and down a level actually makes the speed legs much better. Yes. Because Gertrude has stompy legs. Stompy yeah. legs. We should... She's the only person we have with stompy legs. Well, because she started never... with stompy legs. Right, because we never put anybody else in the stompy legs. Uh, you know what? I'm curious about it, and we've got the points to spare. So, Grady, you're getting stompy legs. Let, let, let me look it up. Okay, go ahead and look it up first. Save ourselves some points in case uh, this does not do what we think it does.
Yeah, it just says here, stability stance becomes stationary for plus 20% accuracy bonus. Um, I think it's... Um, I'm pretty sure it's a thing where if you don't move... Move, you get an accuracy bonus. Then the next bonus. turn, you get an accuracy bonus. That being said, we're usually doing a lot of, like, repositioning and stuff. Uh, it also says here unlisted that stomp for legs have plus five strength. It is a thing that's listed in there. Well, it's listed there. Okay. In their description. That or the jumpy legs. And we do a lot of moving around with Grady. Yeah, and shots. jumpy legs will help, or so, yeah. runny legs will help with that. We're giving runny legs. That lets him move more and uh, uh, position better if he can hop up levels. Yes. All right. You guys are resting. Oh, we had a scavenging site over here that we have not. Oh. We're really low on tax. That's probably not a bad idea. Yep. Got level extreme, night mission, Pandorans. Uh, all right, let's do this, Star Squad. If abandoning your hips was a good idea. The other nice thing about the mutations is we don't have to worry about repair costs with them. Uh, no, they do not cost us uh, materials to repair. Yeah. Right, yeah step away one second, I'll be right back. No problem. Okay. Not too difficult, but we are going to be doing kind of a running retreat. So we go over there and grab that one. And just work our way backwards. I like this plan. First we scream. No matter what the plan is, screaming is essential.
so probably through the building is not going to be our first option. So how are you guys doing? All zero people watching us. It has been a long day. Not especially a difficult one, just long. The stock market's pretty bad right now. Here. Wow. Guys. <laughs> Holy shit, those legs do work. Damn. You're in the running with frickin' Angel now. That happened. That's crazy talk. Okay, plus the fact that you can just jump the story. Plus the fact that you don't take a movement from jumping a story is a pretty substantial movement bonus. Yes, I will agree. Okay. Now I'm curious. Not a problem. Uh, I made an yeah. honor, made an honorless save, and I'm reloading it because I want to see something. Hmm. Curious here. Do, do. What are you curious about? I am curious to see how far Grady can get. Now that he's got his fast legs, cause I cause I didn't check until I activated frenzy. My turn. Yeah. Okay. He's just got some serious movement. That's without frenzy. Plus four move. Plus four move. Uh, plus four move, and he doesn't have to worry about movement cost when moving up a story. And coming up levels, you know. So he can just do his super jumps. Uh, anyway, box placement is fairly nice for us. Uh, we have one back here. Okay. One over here. There are uh -huh. two in the building. One over here and one over here in the living room. Mm -hmm. There is one all the way in the corner over here. And I need that point, though, so... All the way out there. So, Not bad. Yep. Go scream. Then, and then we're just gonna have one person come back this way and pick up this box one person grab this and then just move along the map over here someone will have to yep. dangle a little bit out here to grab the box we can have one of our speedy characters do that which i can't believe i'm saying this now includes grady long stop <laughs> and he wasn't a slow character he wasn't a slow character, but now there are no barriers to his speed. Nope, just his ability to hit targets. Just his ability to hit targets. But now he can run real close to them and shoot them. And, and that barrier is, they are alive and he is shooting at them. <laughs> there we go. So Isla, using his powerful jumping legs, does not need to go over here and do this bullshit movement puzzle. He can just jump up here. Jumpy jump. Oh, 
There's a mist spawner. Oh, there's also two targets over there. There are two targets over there. However, we can throw a turret, like, out here. Yeah, it just, uh, it's not a great idea to throw a turret out. We can't also yeah. shoot with it, though. Fair enough. Um, just have them do overwatches towards where the enemies would be. Basically, in case they jump up there. Yes. Roger. You're gonna come off. Okay, first off. Before I do anything else, what does your grenade range look like? Okay, so you can just grenade those two. Do so now. Triton. Here comes the Phoenix. Ah, we have not seen this ability yet. Ah. A tar shadow. Uh, yes. So, basically what a tar shadow is, is when it dies, it creates a hyper-fast and I believe really damaging in melee uh, clone of itself dead. that doesn't have the gun. Well, that's annoying. Uh, I believe that is a thing that just happened as we were quitting the last session, the new uh, variants showed up. Mm. 
<laughs> he ran so fast the camera couldn't catch up with him. Angel getting involved in this, or Angel just going up this way to grab the other side. No reason to get involved, which aren't actually capable of attacking things or leaving your ass out. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, head towards the other box. Heading towards the other box. Keep in mind that Angel cannot loot on the same turn. They yep. open. Better just to keep him in compliment. Yep. Someone right on the other side of that wall. There is someone right on the other side of that wall. Not what we can do about it now. He's also not sure where he wants to go. Well, he's very confused now that his gun's been shot out of his hands. Okay. Well. This is a thing. He'll beat a siren to death now. to the bet. Yep. Get into cover here so we can still beat her and give some modicum of protection. Okay. Uh, and then probably uh, or how many of them within, I don't think it's within 10. is if it goes through walls. Yeah, I'm less worried about hitting while the guy with the gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, just outside of range. Uh, yeah, we can uh, pop back into the building, though. Uh, don't pop back in the building directly next to a melee guy. <laughs> that's not a melee guy, that's a gun guy. Is that a gun guy? Yeah. Don't pop next to the building directly next to a gun guy. <laughs> Alright, we can fall back here, then. Yep, fall back. Don't stop next to the guy having a machine gun. We've seen how that works out. You saw what Lena did. Oh. Hello there.
I'll be right there. Cover you, ass. My turn. Ready to go to work. Yep, so we're just gonna pop him. Operative on the move. I don't immediately come out. Uh, no, it's got 500 hit points. If we can oh. destroy the Triton Umbra, it won't come out. Oh, boy. I think. There's a lot of guesswork that's going into the, uh... The... Ghosts, because I'm not as familiar with that. What's that? I'm going to pause here for a second while we do some tactical looking up information on the internet. Let's show them what we can do. Can't wait. I'm here. Double were you looking that up or? I, I am looking it up. Okay. Because that determines a large chunk of what this turn, or what the remainder of this turn is going to look like. So there's no way to stop him from spawning. Uh, and it will have four action points when it spawns. So basically, uh, it will show up and just attack something if you don't have like overwatches ready to kill it. Yeah. 
Yes. Here comes the phoenix. It does look like killing Umbra enemies with explosives or fire may prevent the uh, the shadow from spawning. your permission, I think I'm just going to take uh, one AP and finish off this mist spawner with Isla. Uh, it does look like... I uh, don't do that with Isla yet. Got it. Um, it looks like you can mind control them while they're spawning. So if Isla gets sight on it, it is in the mind control level, Isla should be able to mind control it. There we go. Yep. Mind controlled, problem solved. All right. And he's got two AP left, so you can still walk over and take care of the Mist Spawner. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the other way to. Yeah, so explosives on their own won't stop them from spawning. Um if they die on a fire tile ah. while they are on, while while they are on fire they will not spawn a number okay Maria, a tar shadow ow He's just overwatching for some reason. Tower champion. Same shot at Roger. Oogity boogity boo. I have an Umbra for you. Uh, let's take a look at Triton Umbra stats. He's got Psychic Ward, allies within 10 tiles are immune to panic and psychic damage attacks. Uh, he's just got a regular Grippy Claw, but he's got 500 hit points. Yeah, a pile of health and a Grippy Claw. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go over. It is a 1 AP Grippy Claw, so don't move. It is, in fact, a 1 AP Grippy Claw. You're in a lot of pain right now. Gotta get one for sure because it's the torso that's broken. Yep. And we will move you. One AP of movement away. Oh, 
Yeah, the torso's broken, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, did fix the uh, the legs, though. Okay. Or the other parts. Doesn't fix his general health, though, if he's make it for that. Good job, Roger. Let's have a look. And you die. So it doesn't cost that much to mind control, it looks like. It costs whatever's willpower is off the bat, so it's like 17 or 18 and then... Yeah. Probably not a ton to keep mind controlled. Yeah. Like, he costs a bunch to get, but it looks like he only costs one per turn to... Wall. Okay, and Isla. Those two boxes are accounted for, that box is accounted for, we just have the one over here in the living room, the one out here the far in box. the far box over there, and the one closest to our evac point. Closest to what will probably be our evac point. Ready.
Dorn, I think I want you close for when we inevitably snuff out this Triton Umbra. So you can just come over. The other option is just run the Triton Umbra all the way up the other side of the map in the corner. That is true, yeah. I'm going to just ignore him. Isla, last person. The exit ward. Down this way. Yeah, I mean, what else is this gonna do? Okay. Actually, can we can see that guy in the window? And yeah, but not get a shot off. Go here. Get a couple shots. Yeah, might as well go there and take a couple shots. Hey, so please, we're shooting like Grady. Friends. New friends. You go send towards one in the back. Yeah. Just just do the corner and get three swings off. Yeah. Yeah, the melee doesn't care about the shield. Oh, I was unaware of that. Nope. <laughs> Already there. Huh. 
Ha ha, your leg. Dumb crab monster. I think we get XP if we have Isla come over here and heal him. Uh, yes, Isla would get XP if he goes over and heals. Uh, takes two to heal, though, so. Um, we have to use. Jumbilly? No, can't use Jumbilly as a heal. Uh, yeah, you're in a building. Yeah. Uh, has. Yeah, Angel's already gone this turn. Uh, no, Angel has. He can use his med kit. I, I was have thinking Angel. of XP for... Have Angel walk up to... Uh... That's true. Angel's one of the fastest people in her entire team. Yes, yes, yes hello. Right. Not you. you. You'll be later. Uh, in fact, uh, doesn't... Isn't there a repair uh, broken limbs ability? Not the field medic. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Disabled body parts are restored. Yes. And then we can also heal. Give him the healing blowtorch. Your torso works again. No. Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Now I can do the actual heal because the actual heal only costs one. Yeah. It's the limb repair that costs two. Good as new. Hooray. We'll hold on to Agent for a second. Okay. I think I'm going to have you, Brady, Spider Man up on the roof. Prepared to get into optimal firing range for whatever we need to shoot. Going in. And hop. And hop. <laughs> he doesn't have a hop, he just kind of teleports. That's a terrible shot. That's absolutely going to hit the wall. <laughs> that is absolutely going to hit the wall. I won't be fooled. Instead, we'll run to a place where I can get a better shot. Finally, Angel. No, not yet, Angel, but, uh, oh yeah, Angel. Uh, I, 
guess back this way towards the living room. Not the living room threats have been dealt with. Still a guy in the window. Yeah, still a guy in the window. So we'll go into like the second floor here. Yeah. So I can make another move. My mind fragger. <laughs> He's dead. Dead next turn. Then, use your med kit. Yep. Oh, we still need to get the far box. Uh, we do still need to get the far box. Uh, I think we're just gonna have. Let's show them what we can do. I want to run for that, but first. Uh, scream. Scream. Yeah. I will cut our time with Junior here yep. in half, but it's worth it. That's fine. Start sending him towards the corner. All the way in the corner. This is your home now. Just moving everyone away from the mind fragger. Yep. May. Uh, has May pick up a box yet? Uh, no, May has not picked up a box yet. And because May is a top level assault, she can go over there and yep. pick it up. That's true. Zip right over and pick it up. Yeah. Uh, Too close one. Another mind for oh, another mind fragger right there. Oh, yes, another mind fragger right uh, here. I keep keep moving towards the box, and someone else can pick it up. I think. Yes, this Shake it, will baby. be done. I wouldn't worry about overwatching until we well, look, don't don't move yet. We can have someone else try and kill, and if they can't, then you can overwatch. Yeah, we'll be efficient about it. Can't wait, Doran. Hey, Doran, you want to shoot a mind fragger? Bang bang, bang bang, indeed. Come over here. Over there. Oh. As a triton overwatching directly into a wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can shoot over that wall, so I think we're safe. No, nope, I think you're fine. Just gonna go over here. Shoot. Oh, my back. No, hit away. No, oh, no, that's that's head. That's head, yep. That, that my frag is useless. Uh, I, can you laser the other one? That minefire can do basically nothing now. Oh, now you can't see it. No. Put railing in the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a railing. 
Hey -o. Back in cover of some sort, just so you don't have to worry about the uh, yeah. I'm just gonna throw the the Triton coming wherever the Triton's gonna go. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw him here. Already there. Hey. Next up is Angel. Angel can safely come down and finally pick up this box. Yep. Without a siren crawling through the window. <laughs> the window. <laughs> like an ass. <laughs> And then having to run from the guy with the machine gun, yes. This was a very packed living room. Okay. Lots of bounty. Now we just have the one by the exit? Uh, yes, now we just have the one by the exit. I think we're just gonna have Angel just move all the way over here. Yep. Zip zip. With the power of goes fast. Alright, she doesn't need to worry about that mind fragger, but she doesn't need to worry about the ghoul, so we're gonna move her back here. Yep. And just overwatch this whole general vicinity. If it comes from that way, you get him. Uh, Brady has already picked up things. Uh, Doran has not picked up stuff, so Doran will be our guy to go pick up the things at the exit point. Here. And watch down this way. And then Isla. Exactly. Yep. Moving along. Moving right along. Come down here. <laughs> oh, you saw a siren somewhere. You saw a siren yeah, over there. there. Okay. Yep. Keep on moving. <laughs> Keep on moving. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Keep on rolling. And keep on rolling back. Moving right along. Do, do, do. Run, 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 run. Do, do. Run away, run away. Run away from the side when she's scary. Okay, where's the siren? Uh, all the way up here. All the way back there. Uh, so go to Isla real quick. Isla. Switch to a gun. Switch to a gun. 
Is there a place Isla can move to where Isla could see the siren? Uh, according to the game, yes. If she just goes to the corner right here. Okay. Is there a place out in the open where Isla could see the siren? Okay, throw a turret there. Okay. Da -da. Turret. Throw turret. Well, let's give that turret an action. Yeah, she's very far away. Eh, take some shots. One hit. Forty damage. And then use, and then use the other AP to find out, get behind a rock or something. Uh, you jump, uh, actually, you're way out of uh, uh, FB. Um, get. I should probably just stay where you are. Yeah. Move next turn. Ready to roll. Yeah. Roger. She's thankfully way out there, which means she's going to have to take a turn to get to us. Yes. I was born ready. I don't think she's going to be able to get that far, but... Dies. No, well, certainly not. Roger doesn't really have anything better to do this turn. Angel's just gonna move back here, I guess. Uh, Angel should strategically move up. Uh, that planter that's just north of where you are. He's like right here. Uh, the other one, more forward. Yeah. That when she comes forward, Angel can bludgeon the shit out of her and then throw an Overwatch. We have a gun. Uh, all right. First and immediate thing. Ready. Doran, get out of there. Yep. Run your ass out of there, Doran. It's not safe. It doesn't matter what else yep. is there. It's not safe. Okay. Uh, have Isla uh, release mind control? That mind control. And then recover. And recover. Receive it. Here's a little trick I know. So Boom Blast will get him out there. Yep, Boom Blast will make it. Carpet bombing saturation pattern. <laughs> Exterminatus! The Imperium is not the good guys. It's arguably the Tau, and even they're suspect. The Tau, the Tau sterilized people. They're not the good guys. The Tau, no one is the good guy in 40k. Heard it here, folks. 
Tell your friends. Also, please tell your friends to not dress up like Nazis at Warhammer tournaments. Fuck you. Alright. So your everything is damaged, but nothing's broken. You're very broken. Yeah, uh... Have Angel just go ahead and pop off two shots. Uh... Two regular shots, so... Oh, never mind. Grenades. <laughs> Boom blast and grenades. Okay, well, no more heads. I show up and just want to give people a hug with my blade arms, and they fire a dozen grenades at me like a bunch of assholes. I can make a difference. Alright, and Grady, you're just gonna haul ass back here. Uh, who's our next, or who's our only box person left? Our only box person's Doran. Okay. Everyone yeah, else has been okay. box. Use your fast legs and run. Yes, use your fast legs. Let's go. All right. And may you can stay where you are. Turret, you didn't get to anything this turn, but that's okay. No, nope, we didn't come out. The turret's fine. If they come out, we'll shoot. Yeah. Oh, there's blood just spraying everywhere. <laughs> she is very broken. That's not a dog's like, you know what? I don't want to go out there. Yeah. All right, turret. Now you can see a target, probably. Stuff, but he'll pick up stuff next turn. In the meantime, it's alright. Earn your master some experience points. Blaster. I can make a difference. Okay. Anyone see the. Uh, can Angel see though? No, nobody can see the, the thing that we left over here. No, not that guy. The the one in the door with a gun. Oh. Not the guy 12 miles away. Uh, I'm here. No. No. Okay. Well, uh, throw an Overwatch towards me. Uh, let's switch to an actual gun. Or a grenade launcher. Well, I mean, we can't Overwatch the grenade launcher. Just so. shoot, shoot. He can shoot. Ah, you had a grenade launcher. You don't have targeting on the grenade launcher. That's an awful shot. Take one, then do an Overwatch. Show him who's boss. Is, uh, is there is, in fact, a shade rocketing through the map towards Somewhere. us? Yeah. Somewhere is, in fact, a murder shade. As a matter of fact, if we're not yeah, safe town this way. Overwatching. Right. Oh, I hear him. 
Excited. Now can't escape because you. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. One more turn of Overwatches. Actually, no. Uh, we don't need it. Uh... Oh, that's true. We can uh, onslaught him. Right, let's go. Here comes the Phoenix. Bye, turret. I'll find my way back home. Right, you know, always find his way back home. Precious experience for Isla. Yeah, you would think if everyone else capped, it would, you know, shunt XP onto the people who do, who still need XP, but no. No. Obvious solution? Only send Isla in. <laughs> it's like it's all the XP and all the enemy rounds. Oh. Okay, we got a shit ton of stuff. Okay. Mars, let's like influence. Was there anything else we were building over here? Certainly not a vehicle. Okay, well, you're all very tired, so you're all going to head back to uh, Shocking Baja Seafood. Yeah. Oh. How nice. Frankie Bello has hit level 6. You're level 5. Frankie Bello also needs a secondary class, but I don't know what I want to make Frankie Bello. I don't know in this world where we're actually mutating a bunch of people, but I want to turn Frankie Bello into. They want to make you beefy. Make you beefy. Raise your resistance by four. Carlotta gets Dash and Trooper and Quarterback are just plain good, so I think we're going to splurge good, one. Yeah. Phoenix SP. Get them up. Okay, who's going where? Tiamat. Diplomacy missions. Yeah, now they want us to sabotage the disciples of Anu. Food production center. Uh, let's see.
learn my lesson. I'm not sending you guys to another edge to leave me in sight. That just ends poorly. I think you guys are going to come down and... There's a mission down here. Research complete. There are the helmets. Psychic damage values are halved. We have not seen anything that can do psychic damage. We've seen a lot of things that do psychics. Not a lot of things that can do psychic damage. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll do advanced paralyzing weapons next. We can get the paralyzing sniper rifle. Yeah. Also, on the topic of sniper rifles. Do we have anyone using a generic sniper rifle? No, we don't have anyone using a generic sniper rifle. But... I am considering... Swapping out one of the uh, Cyclopses for the Pythagoras. Give, give it to Grady, he needs the help. You make a good point. And you made it at Grady's expense. You know I can't resist that. <laughs> and Grady's going through a renaissance. I mean, he still can't hit shit, but... <laughs> he can move? He's got a more accurate gun that won't matter? Well, okay, maybe this is the pivot point. Maybe this is what Grady Longstop needed. Zippy legs and... Uh... I think what Grady Longstop needs is to take that uh, uh, perk that gets him better assault rifle and try using that sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs trooper and then to, you know... Uh, so you say that, but that's probably not a bad idea, actually. I mean, no, tro trooper is just plain good. Yeah, we have bold boxes there. Huh? Yeah. Does he need a bulldog magazine, though? Oh, well, he doesn't need the magazine. Probably also doesn't need two of these. I want to give oh, him I some room to carry thing. boxes. Yeah. Oh, never. <laughs> never, Grady. I'm never letting you take Reckless. <laughs> but look at all the damage he won't do. In fact, you might as well give him Reckless, and like he hits anyway, so on the off chance he does, it'll do more damage. Again, you've made a point at Grady's expense. You know I can't resist that. <laughs> we, we don't expect him to hit to begin with, so... <laughs> Ah. 
mean, he's fast enough to get point blank now if he needs to hit something. Just go all the way, give him the high perception head. I mean, high perception head does have like 10% accuracy on it. Uh, so does the synergy on it. Ah, that's true. It would give him seven extra perception and one extra armor in the head. Meh. Yeah, not worth spending 80 mutation on. That being said, we do have uh, more mutation now. We can throw on more people in this mutation renaissance. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I <laughs> clicked on Iman Khan. Iman Connor? <laughs> uh, do we have a uh, a spider pistol for him? Uh, no, but we could. Or yes, we do. There we go. Yeah, Giving him a spider I pistol. Mm -hmm. Giving him ammo for the spider pistol. Give me an extra clip of spiders. Yes. Good. <laughs> Uh, also, give Ben some of our XP so he can get the triple spider perk. Triple spider perk. Good. Good. Abandon flesh. Bring spiders. Sunny. Maria, who's just got the regular assault legs? No, those are sniper legs. Uh, yeah, those are sniper legs. We can throw the better sniper legs onto her. Yep. Or we could merge the better sniper legs onto her. <laughs> uh. Gone mad with power. They <laughs> have gone mad with power. With this, Wilhelm would be able to keep up with people when he screams. Ah. Yes. He would be running at comparable speed. Yes. Yes, we shall do this. The priest pants don't offer any kind of bonus. They're just pants. No, they're just they pants. They exist. They exist so they have some kind of armor value on their legs. That's what most of the pants do. Yeah. Some of them give a little accuracy bonus, things like that. Uh, let's see. Did I have a sniper who was ready to level up? Plain Jane sniper, no. Because what I want to do is, in a team that already has a Screamer, I want to put a second Priest and put it on the head that just gives passive will regeneration. Well. But you have to be a Priest to take that head. You have to be a Priest to take that head. It's a Priest head. Yes. Well, that is a conundrum for another time. Ah. <sighs> 
What are you on? You're on Thunderbird 5. Can I send Thunderbird 5? You're resting. But you will be done soon. Construction complete. A Sneedrian Haven is under attack. <gasps> Sneedrian Haven is under attack? You know who's close to there? Thunderbird 5! Da 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 da! You know who's not going to get there in time? Construction complete. Thunderbird 5. Even destroyed. Wah, wah. Oh, we're definitely not getting there in time. <laughs> oh, that's rude. She was the Empress of Japan. The company itself, country itself was in ruin, but a group of loyalists declared with the leader of their haven, Neo Takachiho. And what choice does she have to roll with it? Since then, she started to build a better life for her people, not without success, but also with some difficulties. Some of the people worked to use a figurehead, but she has no to become If you're going to be Empress, might as well do it right. Uh, she's been trying to recover the sword Kusanagi, one of the three sacred treasures, the Imperial Regalia of Japan. Possible location. Oh. Um, piss off. Yep. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, if it's in the hands of the disciples of Anu, it was meant to be something something god. Oh well, you tried. Yeah. Uh, I guess go have adventures down here. need a new person, so I guess you're gonna go over to uh, culinary school and pick up that one person who's sitting here. Research complete. All right. Sonic grenade. I have no idea what Sonics do, but I don't feel like the neural sniper rifle. So I have damage seen, piercing 60, paralysis 16. Yep. And takes three action points like every other sniper rifle. So let's go ahead and get a couple of those thrown in. There, Thunder before I can go this the explore site. One. Discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project microfiche archive. The building's almost entirely overgrown with pulsating yellow vines that are oddly reminiscent of long, headless moray eels. Trying to enter may result in injuries. But we're gonna do it anyway. Do it anyway. Oh no, 30 damage. Unsolved Mysteries. Under the orders of I Administrator Irina Semenova. Semionova. Semionova was forced to quit her job after an intense conflict with the KGB. 
Got a whole bunch of resources for it. Absolutely yep. worth it. Well, nothing else is happening in South America, then I guess we're just going to go search the rest of the stuff. Or we could go harass a, a uh, technology center. We can get incendiary technology. I'd really like to get that armor upgrade. Okay. Oh, stealing New Jericho. Yeah, stealing New Jericho. Yeah. Get better heavy armor. Gas technology. New Jericho combat armor research is still on the table. And this time we would yes. not be bringing three units and a dog. <laughs> and one dog. <laughs> we would be bringing an actual group. Uh, honestly, I think the play is to have these guys investigate these unexplored sites and have our A-team going. Yep. Do that. Go with Luton. That was... Yeah, this one up here. Okay. Got our new uh, intelligence report. So yeah, this grenade gonna... launcher and a gun. Yeah, grenade launcher and gun. Uh, armored and has return fire. Yep. Arthur and Tyrant, which is just a big guy that does yep. gun speedy mouth. Yep, evolves bit. The Arthron Bane uh, a champion viral machine gun. has a viral machine gun. Uh, now, we want one of these alive. Because this is how we get access to the super virus. At least I think this is one of the units that counts for it. Team Ant 2 has landed in an abandoned military base. The site is not on the old maps and databases. Looks like he was just trained to develop some sort of special operations unit dedicated to fighting the invaders. There's a lot of equipment here that we can use. Okay. We'll yeah, we'll take tech and materials any day of the week. Oh, and you guys are close to the Tomb of the Mad Scientist. You might as well, it's some experience. First, go investigate this site while we go do actual things. Research complete. Let's see. So yeah, as of right now, Phoenix Point has no way of counteracting the uh, the telepathic signals of sirens. Recommended course of action when you meet a siren in the field? Shoot it. Shoot it really, really dead. Shoot it in the head. Yes. Speaking of heads, now that we've researched a Pandoran with the telepathic ability, we can research the telepathic node. Ah. This is important for story reasons. Mm, but not for the path we're going down. Not for the path we're going down. 
Uh, though I believe it does unlock a tech for us that uh, allows us to defend against certain mental stuff. Still worth it. Uh, we are also going to throw a couple of these cheap things up here just to pad out. And those two uh, rifles are done. So who's getting our anti-paralysis or our paralysis rifles? I am uh, snipers of some sort. Well, yes, snipers, snipers who aren't Grady. I am thinking that Sonny, for her decorated service, get a get paralysis rifle. Uh, do we want to make it part of our? Yeah. It's here. Let's go for it. it has twelve shots. Very nice. Yeah. pure aesthetic sake. And who is our other sniper that's going to get that? I want to say that our other sniper would probably be Tahir. Uh, although Tahir is kind of... Tahir uh, is... No. But swap out the neural pistol, because there's no reason to have a neural pistol if we have a sniper. Yeah, and then we can spend some... Uh, SP to buff his strength, so he has a little extra carrying capacity. Actually, no, he's... Oh, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, and we can remove that. Yeah. That more. Okay. Now, the other thing we can do while we're here and we have this big-ass pile of uh, tech points is someone else can get the inscoopening. have no shortage of berserkers in line for special gut scooping treatment. Not a mod. <laughs> Never a mod. An octopus mod. Why would I need my gut scoop? Let's see. Camis has already had it. Uh, let's see. Frankie Bello. Frankie Bello could have his gut scooped out? Frankie Bello could have his gut scooped out. I think the only other person we were waiting on... Oh, no. Uh, uh, huh. Gertrude can't. Because we can't... Yeah, Gertrude can't we can't, can't unmute it. Yeah. Yeah, so because she's mutated, we cannot put robot legs on her and stuff like that. So I think the only person we can or want to scoop the guts out at this point is... Frankie, Frankie Bello. Bello. So, congratulations, Frankie. You've joined the ranks of the gutless. Joined the ranks of your brothers who have given up their guts before. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm debating. In some ways, propeller legs are nice, but in other ways, speed legs are nice. Both viable options. Yes. I think I'm just going to put the propeller legs onto Frankie. Then we'll save the mutations for someone else. Because mutations can go on far more other people, but we're generally only interested in the, the gut scooping and the rocket legs yep. from robot parts. Okay. Frankie having done that. Now, 
I'm still waiting on some XP for you. Given what time it is, it's probably not enough time for... You know, yeah, we're not going to finish a base attack in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. We're not going to finish any map in 15 minutes, realistically. Yeah, maps are getting pretty long. Alright, we're going to write that, save it here. Alright. Thank you all for joining us, everyone. Uh, we made a lot of progress tonight, actually. Uh, we are right on the cusp of... Uh, 100% alliance with Disciples of Anu. Uh, we just got our new diplomacy mission from them, and it's targeting a new Jericho Haven, so... Hey, hey. I'll have to go send somebody to aggress the new Jericho. Yeah. Although I think we're just going to get passive... Uh, uh, approval from Disciples of Anu for doing the raid on... Yeah, we'll get the the approval we need. Just uh, from yes, we'll get mine for stealing the research. Stealing the research. Uh, so next time, stealing the research and then getting a hundred. We saw you shoot those new Jericho people. That was pretty cool. Yep. They had it coming. So we are actually approaching the end game pretty quickly here. Yes. But uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're not going to be doing Saturday streams for a while, uh, so we just finished up Rampa. So join us on Sunday, and we're going to be continuing through SD Gundam G-Generation Genesis and finishing up Zeta Gundam. Double Zeta. Or Double Zeta, sorry. I always, get, double Zeta. I always do that for some reason. Yeah. Um, then on Monday, continue our playthrough of Pokemon Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Which is just Elden Ring with a gimmick, but yeah, we like our gimmick. Just Elden Ring with a gimmick. Uh, and uh, then join us on Tuesday for the reaching the end game of Phoenix Point. Yeah, I think if we do this one mission, we'll hit 100 and be able to actually start the end game proper. Yes. And who knows what will happen then? Well, I do. I know what will happen then. But you don't. Not You at home. Shiv knows what happens. I know what happens. You at home may also know what happens. But... Some people probably don't. Some people probably, don't know what happens. Also watching this, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> there are people who exist who do not know. Uh, anyway, I've been the Krampus. I've been Jim. All right, have a good one, everyone. Bye, everyone.